A very good morning students we are in our regular class lecture for the field geology and the today's topic is the locating the position of outcrop on a map as a geologist it is our primary task to look for an outcrop on the field but after finding out our outcrop we have to mention the same outcrop location on the map so in today's class we will see how to locate the outcrop on the map so there are few methods to locate the position of ourselves as well as the outcrop on a map the very first one is the bearing actually the bearing is the measure of direction between two points the first one will be the known point and the next one will be the unknown point and the bearing can be done by two formats that is the first one is the azimuth bearing in which we will be using the whole circle bearing that is we are using the degrees from 0 to 360 and uh, next one is the quadrant bearing in which we will divide the area into four quadrants that is the northeastern quadrant southwest quadrant then southeast quadrant and northwest quadrant so in which this type of quadrant bearing we will be using the direction as well as the degree together okay so we will go with the first one that is the azimuth bearing which will be quite easy for us to use in the field and the next method of uh, positioning ourselves is the using gps okay so you will see a detail on this in bearing it can be classified into two that is the forward bearing as well as the backward bearing the forward bearing is one by standing on a known point we have to look the direction of the unknown location that is what the first one that is the forward bearing for which we have to stand in the known point so let us take this topo sheet as an example if we are working in this topo sheet there are few known point that you can simply find out on the field itself say for example here is a crossing of railroad as well as a river so this can be simply point uh, we can find out this location on the field without any problem so if you are working somewhere in this field and you have found out uh, some outcrop here right we don't know where where actually it is so what we will do is we will go for this location that is uh, a railroad as well as the river crossing so we will stand there and we will use our brenton to measure the direction of the outcrop so let us say it is showing say 355 degree so what we will do is we will draw a line from this point with the 355 degree right so this is the first point then we will go for the next point that is uh, we will take this point that is there are there is a crossing of road the road divided into two line right so you can stand here and if it is possible for us to look for the direction of outcrop and if we measure the direction and say if it is showing say 312 degree we will also draw a line from this point and this line will cut this earlier line at some point right uh, two point bearing is not sufficient generally so we will go for the third one in this we will try to see a road as well as a railroad crossing so we will try to measure from this point say if it is showing 57 degree so we will draw a line from this point so all this three line will create a triangle here so according to our precision the triangle size will be so if you are so precise in measuring the triangle will be very small if your measurement is not so perfect the triangle size will be bigger by this way we can find out our location so your outcrop will be somewhere in in this triangle so you can simply plot it here right you got it this is the front bearing that is we have to stand on a known point and you have to look for an unknown point using the brenton compass is it clear so the next one is the back bearing in which we will be standing on a unknown point from that point itself we will look for the known point on the topo sheet then we will calculate our location okay so let us take this topo sheet as example that we are working somewhere in this area but we can see that there is a very well known point that is a peak of a, say hill that is 437 meter height which you can simply recognize in the field without any problem right so you are somewhere here you will use the brenton to measure the direction of that peak if it is showing say 7 degree that peak is showing 7 degree what we will do is we will use the protector from here to measure 7 degree so this will be zero so sound will be somewhere here so from that point we will draw a line vertically down towards yourself so this will be the very first line and there is other hillock here which is also you can 
see in the field which is a separate isolated hillock and you can also plot this and uh, measure this in your Brenton and if it is showing say 305 what we will do you will use the compass here and you will measure say this is 0, 90, 180, 270 then 300, 305 somewhere here you know, then there will be you can draw a line this line will cut the previous line at some point right and there is also a small hillock here you can also use this hillock in the field and just measure the direction from your point if it is showing say 48 degree you will do the same thing from here say this is 0 so 40 will be somewhere here you will place a protector and measure the direction and you will try to draw a line so all these three lines will cut together and form a small triangle here uh, so where we are in the field is this this is this location where we are so this is how the back bearing is working <coughs> you got it clear right in front bearing what you will do is you will go and stand on a known point and we will look on the unknown point whereas in back bearing what we will do we will stand on unknown point there itself and we will look for a taller that is a elevated region that you can see from that point itself and you will measure the direction and after measuring the direction you will just draw the lines according to the angle what you will get and uh, the lines if it cuts and if it forms a small triangle then your readings are accurate is that clear okay we will go for the next one that is using gps say this is the topo sheet that we are working in the topo sheet corner you can see the latitude and longitude value at the corners right here it is 75 45 50 and here it is 25 15 like that right so if you are in the field you are using gps and the reading which is shown in the gps is not 75 51 0, 0. so this is not 75 this is 45 followed by 50 then it will 55 something like that right so where we are here is 75 51 so here it is 50 then it is 55 then what we will do is we will divide this we will measure the length and divide this with uh, 5 because there are 5 divisions right from 50 to 55 and we will just mark the lines from 51, 52, 53, 54 and 55 is already here right so this is how we have to mark the north 51 line so this is your north 51 line right so the next one we have to go for the east because uh, so, so the east 25 is here east 25 5 is here then we have they are given the seconds that is not 10, east 25 degree 5 minutes and 20 seconds so what you will do is the first line that is this is 5 here it will be 6 and 7 8 9 this is 10 here right so we have divided this length into 5 divisions and we have marked there and after that what we will do is a minute there will be 60 seconds so we will go for 6 divisions here so these are the six divisions uh, first one will be 10 20 30 40 50 and there will be no 60 it will become 6 so this point will be uh, 520 right that is 5 minutes 20 seconds this is 5 minutes 10 seconds 20 seconds 30 seconds 40 seconds 50 seconds here it will be 6 minutes is that clear so after plotting these two lines the point where these two point cuts that is north 7851 and east 25 520 that will be your location so this will be your location so this is how you can use the gps to locate yourself on the field as well as the outdrop on the field is that clear so for locating ourselves we can to do two things one is bearing as well as gps if we have gps then it is well and good you can simply measure the distance and calculate the divisions and point it out yourself and if you have your Brenton you can simply measure the direction and the use of bearing you can go for front bearing as well as back bearing whatever you wish and simply you can locate yourself on the field is that clear so if you still have any doubt you can just mention it you can clarify in the class thank you